so. We're here at Genghis Grill, and, uh, and we're going to be uh, celebrating our last days of, of being with, uh, working with Ken and... Because they're going to kill me now. And Mr. Chris. They're go uh, Mr. Chris is going back to uh, college, and Ken is going to do his uh, work thing next week. Oh, uh, you got to pray for her. Am I good? Yep, thank you. All right. So, her yeah, going back to Hern and I. I'm with uh, Kyle and Alex and Mr. Chris. There you go. How you doing? I made poopy. Uh, uh, be quiet. So. Oh yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is this guy's birthday. Dude, join and so you get a free bowl tomorrow. And uh, congratulations, so how sir. Are you 12? Yeah. Gonna be. I'm gonna be 13 now. Yeah. So I'm totally excited. I love getting his grill, and uh, it's great food. Oh, uh, now eat. you have acne. Oh. You're gonna be your train to a teenager ish. You go to poverty. Well, that was fun. I had a good time with the kiddos. It was a good day, you know, just saying bye to Mr. Chris and, well, I, at least work wise, saying bye to Mr. Ken, too. Uh, Ken was his, uh, was his last day to uh, at, at the camp, and uh, so, yay, and sad. Right now I'm just uh, emptying out my dresser drawer. Um, this dresser is gonna be gone. I'm not. We're gonna be moving in a couple of weeks. And it's not. This thing is not coming with us. So I'm gonna take things out of it and, uh, and uh, transfer it to this dresser drawer, which I do own and it is mine. And so, you know, it's one of those things where, uh, yeah, moving pain in the butt. But you gotta do it. And uh, it's kind of sad this, this coming week. This, uh, this uh, next week is gonna be the last week of camp. It's sad, but uh, it's one of those things that inevitably, 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 uh, inevitably happens. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. I'm gonna miss the kids, and I'm gonna uh, miss all the other um, counselors that I've, uh, you know, made friendships with this past summer. And uh, I actually miss a couple of them already because some of them already have already gone back to uh, to college and stuff. Uh, but uh, you know, they probably won't ever see this, but uh, Miss Emily was a good good worker. She was fun to hang out with. Uh, we made her an honorary Asian. <laughs> she really insisted on it, uh, but uh, yeah, it was it was really really a fun fun summer. Um, uh, Stacy, uh, it was her last summer doing uh, the director administrator person thing, and you know uh, I think. My friend Sarah is going to be doing, taking over for that. You know, I would do it, but it's one of those things where I have so many different things I need to do to before I, I, I can do that. Um, it's, uh, it's, a little, it's a little hard to, uh, to balance all that stuff. So, it's, uh, yeah, I had to decline. Um, you know, if I didn't have so many things I was already doing, I would uh, jump at the chance to... Uh, take that job but again it's it's not that I want don't want to it's just like I, I physically can't and um, that's that's you know it's just something that happens something that happens so anyways cleaning up a little bit we're move transferring things from side to side and just trying to get things organized <sighs> Did I mention how much I don't like moving? Woo! Saturday! And what better way to spend a Saturday than getting blood taken out of you and a shot put in your arm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I hate needles. I hate shots. And 
this was this was awful, 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 awful. I hate it. In fact, this is, and also this is the first time I've ever had uh, you know blood taken out of me. Um, you know, uh, when I'm not hurt or or sick or whatever. So that was interesting. Um, yeah. I th I th other, I think I've had blood taken from me other at other times, but I was never really uh, like, like uh, what's it called, aware or or or, you know, I was like in a kind of a daze. Because I remember one time I was in an accident and uh, a car accident, and uh, I don't think I had to take my, I don't know, like I I don't think I've ever had blood taken away from my body. <laughs> I've lost blood. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Hopefully all the tests come back all right. Um, I'm trying to uh, um, be positive about this. Can I get it? Positive tests. Positive. Positive. Anyway, um, it's uh, I I I gotta get stuff done for George Mason, you know, the school and everything. And I'm just hoping that everything goes right because then you know I don't want to miss a semester. Um, but if I have to miss a semester, I'll miss a semester. Um, it'll be all right. Um, I'll just start it back up on uh, in the spring. But this sucks really bad because it's one of those things where uh, I need to get shots that it's like three part shot and it's, you know, it takes over like a month and a half to get it done. <sighs> yeah. But I'm going to see if I can head over to a party right now. Uh, I missed a little bit of it, but hopefully it's uh, still going on and I can uh, say my hellos to the people over there. All right. I just finished up with a. Uh uh, a viewing of the UFC fights on Fox Sports 1, the new Fox Sports 1, used to be the Speed Channel, uh, but uh, yeah, I am now going home after uh, some really good fights and some really crappy fights. There were some really awful fights on this card, but there were some really awesome fights on this card too, uh, especially the main event, like, <laughs> Chael Sonnen, the... The, the trash talker of all trash talkers calls out Vanderlei Silva after the win, and he just didn't win. He he submitted. He he put he slapped a guillotine onto Shogun, which I did not expect at all. Because Shogun, you know, he's a, primarily a striker, but he does have jujitsu a jujitsu background too a, a little bit because he is Brazilian. Um, just amazing, amazing fights when it came to. Uh, to the uh, to the main event, you know, and, and a couple of the uh, you know undercard stuff was great, you know, you know it's it was hit or miss sometimes, um, but it was just awesome, awesome fights, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna watch the uh, the post fight interview again because Chael said some really, really like awful things, not awful like you know they they were. It was pretty bad, though. It was pretty, um, it was pretty, uh, yeah, he was really calling out Vandalay. Yeah. <laughs>